Good afternoon, and welcome to another episode of That Tony Podcast. It's me, Rick. Um, I felt the need to do this because, again, there's a lot of people now over the Christmas and New Year period who are considering coming over to the Canaries for their holidays. And there's a lot of things with the laws changing at the moment that's most probably stopping people or thinking or putting them in a quandary as to whether they should come over or not. So I've been in work today. It's, it's now half four on a Monday afternoon. I've been working in town for me. That's played Las Americas. And it's the 27th of December. And the rules actually came into effect this morning. And I just wanted to give my interpretation of what I'm seeing around um, the major holiday areas, hotspots, in Tenerife, which most probably runs the same for the rest of the people in um, in the Canaries as well. The funny thing is, today I was looking on my phone, the Canarian Weekly on Facebook is fantastic to give information. Um, it says the misinterpretation of the rules means people aren't wearing masks. This is the main cause of concern of, to whether people should come on holiday or not. Um, here's a clarification of the situations when you have to and don't have to wear masks outdoors. Now. The reason why this is giving such an issue is because it's people struggle with them. People just don't like wearing them. Um, we understand that it's now by law. We understand what the benefits are. We understand that, um, you know, law, everybody's a law abiding person that I know anyway, that should be following these laws. Uh, however, these are causing so much controversy at this moment in time. Let me first of all, just explain what the Canarian Weekly said. This is what I like about the Canarian Weekly. There are a lot more places where you can actually get your information from. But if I am Joe Tourist, most of the time, I'm not going to start looking on government websites. I'm looking at most probably the local newspapers that will give me the information that I need. This means, um, in basic terms, that masks are mandatory when walking on public roads, streets, pavements, plazas, beachfront walkways, to the pub, in restaurants when not seated, in shopping centres, around the pool or on the beach when not sunbathing or swimming, regardless of social distancing. You don't have to wear one when in a private open space, i.e. your own terrace or garden, or when in an open natural space off public roads, for example, when taking a walk in the hills, as long as distancing is maintained with non-cohabitants. It is a temporary measure which will be enforced until the current epidemiological situation improves. I came out of uh, work today at four o'clock and what you can see from there, there's a, I, I thought I'd just do a quick video over just a couple of areas, a couple of seconds, just to give people a bit of an idea. And in my opinion, 80% of the people are not wearing masks. There are, we all know how to wear a mask. I'm not gonna give anybody a lesson on how to wear a mask. This is how the majority of the, well, this is how people tend to wear a mask. A lot of people tend to wear it like that. The reason being is if the police or a local uh, Guardia Seville comes around, very quickly, that happens. These are law-abiding citizens. This is their choice of what they decide to do. This is also a very popular place to wear your mask. As is this one here as well. I'm not here to say what's right and what's wrong. I'm also not here to tell you what it is that I do myself. What I'm here to see, what I hope to achieve with this is to show you guys what is actually happening in Tenerife and most probably then throughout the rest of the Canaries. So the first rule is the masks. As you can see, this is pretty much what it is, my view. I drove home from uh, from town. Um, I got onto Golf del Sur and on Golf del Sur, I was three cars behind a Guardia Seville car. Um, he must have driven past 20 people without masks and he didn't stop anybody. Now that's not to say he wasn't busy on a different job, it's just that's what I see with my eyes. Um, that's the first thing I wanna talk about. The second thing I wanna talk about is um, there's a curfew uh, that's on in um, Las Americas, or in the, in the bars anyway, in Tenerife and across the Canaries at the moment, that's a one o'clock curfew. Because we're now in level three and four, the curfew normally is two o'clock, but what they've done is they've decided to bring it back to one o'clock. What does that mean again for the tourists? Does that mean that that's gonna stop people from coming on holiday? Well, I started work this morning in, in a bar at, uh, I got there for quarter to 10 and people were already drinking. So they're just moving the, the, the slot earlier, very early in this instance, but they're moving it earlier. So uh, for them, these people left the bar at half four and, uh, or sorry, just at half three. And uh, for them, the, the curfew will not affect them in the slightest. The third thing to talk about is, um, is actually, is, is quite an important one. The third one is the proof of vaccination for you to enter establishments. 
That has actually become now obligatory. That's mandatory now. For you to be able to enter an establishment, you would need to show proof of vaccination. Uh, this is quite interesting because, again, it's misinterpreted people's ideas of it. Um, I read on another social media website earlier on that uh, they're not actually asking the staff members or the entertainers um, whether they're uh, vaccinated. It's just actually the clientele. That was the first thing that I heard, which is quite an interesting uh, side of it. The second thing is, is, again, from the owner's point of view. Uh, the owner's point of view is where I, where I work at the moment, the, 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 pers the owner of the uh, establishment is definitely in her 70s not social media savvy, not too sure about uh, how to go about this, and it doesn't look like there's anybody policing at this moment in time. Not to say that it'll change, but what I do suggest for everybody when they come over is literally, if you've got it on your phone, just keep it on your phone and carry it around with you, just in case people do ask it, and that's, that's really what it comes down to. So, should you decide or not to come to the Canaries for your holidays? Um, for me personally, Today seems a little bit different from last week with regards to the good old masks. I think I am maybe 10 or 15% more inclined to be aware that I've got this thing around me at all times than I was previously. And I think the majority of the tourists at this moment in time, in my uh, opinion, um, are not following the, um, the, the decree of the law. Uh, but whether that's through their own choice, whether that's through just ignorance or whether that's through, yeah, that's it really, whether that's through their own choice or their ignorance. What maybe is of interest for me is really is how this is portrayed then in the foreign media. Maybe, the, you know, how the French or the Flemish or the Dutch, how their media is portraying the need for um, following the law to the letter of the law in the Canaries. It's, it's, it's a difficult one. Or just hopefully you can see what the town looks like. Hopefully that gives you a bit more of an idea for yourself of what decision you're going to make, whether you're going to come or not. Um, we'd love to see down the Canaries. It's uh, still fantastic weather. Today's about 24 degrees. The sun is shining. And uh, yeah, what would be interesting is just we, we, I got a lot of comments on the last uh, on the last vlog with regards to this, and I find it quite interesting. So you know, please, whether you're here, whether you're far, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about it, and I'll try to reply to those. Uh, but from myself. Have a fantastic uh, new year and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.